On this episode of Dino Times, I'm diving into what exactly is a Styracosaurus, the dinosaur we have seen through countless dinosaur paleo art, movies, and more. And today on this episode, let's dive right into this iconic looking dinosaur. Styracosaurus is actually means spiked lizard in Greek, and you could probably take a guess from the, you know, the spiky frill on this dinosaur. It is a Ceratopsian from the Cretaceous period, and there's actually two versions of it, Styracus overtus and Styracus albertensis. Albertensis. Named by Lawrence Lambay in actually 1913, which is why you've seen it in a lot of classical paleo art and very old designs. And let me tell you, those old designs do not hold up. It could reach up to 18 feet long, 5.9 feet tall, and actually up to three tons. So as much as a uh, white rhinoceros. But it, it was cute because it actually had short and stubby legs. Like other ceratopsians, because of course... It's cousin Triceratops is the most famous, but Styracosaurus I think is up there too. My like most Ceratopsians, it had shearing back teeth, or shearing cheek teeth to be honest, and it was used for grabbing and chewing plants. Also like other Ceratopsians, it actually had holes in the frill, which, you know, could be dangerous if a dinosaur may or may not bite the that frill, to say the least here, but with the spikes alongside the frill, I think it's going to make it for a tough time, and it could be a very useful weapon, or so you may think. Of course, those Styracosaurus is thought to be a herd animal due to the mass amounts of them found together dead. So Styracosaurus is thought to be a herd animal like most of the Ceratopsians. Newer studies though, of actually going back to it, to the frill, newer studies showing that the horns on the frill were probably used for visual and actually not combative, but it's still highly contended on that notion. And so we shall see where it goes, but some new things about Styracosaurus are being discovered. Not fa not usually, but they still are. So who knows where it might go and what new things we might discover. And I've been you guys' host, Dakota Morgan, on this episode of Dino Times. There's a little bit about the Styracosaurus. Hopefully you learned a thing or two and enjoyed a little bit of info on this classic little dinosaur. Be sure to subscribe for more episodes of Dino Times. Leave a like on the video if you guys enjoyed it. And of course, folks, remember, science is real.